In this video, I will explain what the JavaScript Crypto.js library is and what the origin is of this library. But in this video, I will not explain how to use the Crypto.js library. Crypto.js is a collection of standard and secure cryptographic algorithms implemented in JavaScript using best practices and patterns. They are fast and they have a consistent and simple interface. Jeff Mott is the original author of the Crypto.js library, which was one of the many code projects hosted by the Google Code Project hosting service. The Google Code Project hosting service was turned down in early 2016. The many code projects can still be found at the Google Code Archive. Jeff Mott's Crypto.js library can be found at this location. The Crypto.js last version is version 3.1.2 and last updated in January 15, 2013. See this location. This is the last version. How to use the Crypto.js functions? See this link. And here is a guide explaining how to use these functions. And this link. It seems that this library is not maintained by Jeff Mott anymore. Jeff Mott's Crypto.js library has been forked by several developers and can be found at GitHub. This link, this link, and this link. The fork created by Evan Fosberg, Briggs slash Crypto.js, is still maintained. The Briggs Crypto.js library can be found at this link. An NPM module has been created for the Bricks Crypto.js library, which can be found at this link. To include all Crypto.js libraries in JavaScript, add this line. The Bricks Crypto.js library is also available in the free and open source web front end resource content delivery network. See this link. The Bricks Crypto.js library are used by several distributed ledger projects such as IOTA in the iota.lib.js library and Ethereum in the web3.js library. Understanding how the Crypto.js library works would be beneficial to you if you are an IOTA or Ethereum front-end developer. The Crypto.js library has no asymmetric key algorithms such as RSA. Here are three links where you can find more information how to use the Crypto.js functions. If you have never used Crypto.js before, I highly recommend that you read this article. I will be using the Crypto.js library in IOTA Tutorial 22 where I demonstrate another mask authenticated messaging use case. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.